Hi, I'm Sanjana, a cloud support engineer here at the AWS office in Bangalore. Today, I'm going to show you how to change the encryption key used by an Amazon Elastic Block Store volume. Let's get started. As you can see, I'm already logged into the AWS Management Console. Now, navigate to the Amazon Elastic Compute Cloud Console. In the EC2 console, under Elastic Block Store, select Volumes. Now, select the encrypted volume from the list with the encryption key that you want to change. Note the availability zone of your volume. On this page, choose Actions and choose Create Snapshot from the drop-down menu. You can now enter an optional description of the snapshot for your reference. Here, I'll use Test Snapshot. After you do this, choose Create Snapshot and then select Close. On the left navigation pane, under Elastic Block Store, select Snapshots. Then, select your newly created snapshot. Next, choose Actions and then, from the drop-down menu, choose Create Volume. Here, you can also enable Fast Snapshot Restore. This enables you to create a volume from a snapshot that is fully initialized at creation. Doing so reduces the latency for accessing data for the first time. If you don't want to enable the Fast Snapshot Restore feature, then you can manually initialize your EBS volume after creation using the DD or FIO utilities. Be sure that you select the same availability zone of your current volume that you noted earlier. Next, from the drop-down menu of the master keys, choose your new encryption key. Finally, choose Create Volume. And that's it. You have a new EBS volume that uses the new encryption key. Thanks for watching and happy cloud computing from all of us here at AWS. <laughs>